industry inside a nutshell. The show where we sail into our port of call discussing maritime history. Hi everybody, so this video is a last minute video and I got another last video to come but this is the second time recording this one so hopefully I would get it right second time, fingers crossed. <laughs> So the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I want to show you a reaction video and if you think it's bright side, no, it's not bright side this time. This is something completely different and the difference is that I'm going to be reacting to a trailer for a short movie and I won't go into further detail with this because I know the production company who have made this film speaks for itself but the film I am going to be reacting to is called Fred and Fred is basically a true story which focuses the later life of Frederick Fleet and if anyone knows Frederick Fleet, he was the one who survived the Titanic disaster, but he was the one who spotted the iceberg in the crow's nest with Reginald Lee, and he was the one who said the famous words, iceberg right ahead, when the iceberg was spotted. So that movie focuses on his later life, as Frederick Fleet suffered from PTSD following the Titanic disaster, and he never got over that especially if the disaster and the icebergs were mentioned in his later life. So this is based on like his flashback memories of the disaster, plus how he actually adjusted to life throughout the years, and then also what happened before he tragically died. So, but I won't go into the full detail of that because that was a little snippet of what the trailer explains but I am planning to do a video about Frederick in the very near future so this movie will give us a little bit of a hint on how Frederick's life is completely touched upon and Normally, even though he is remembered for spotting the iceberg in the crow's nest, he's not really, really focused in full detail. And this short movie proves that there's more to his story, especially in his later life, than you can imagine. And the trailer is not super, super long, but I'm actually going to be reacting to it a little bit but if you would like to look at the movie yourself I will leave links in the description box down below and the trailer that I'm going to be reacting to is from the movie's Instagram page and the trailer is a little bit repetitive as it breaks down a little bit but it's only under a minute long so I'm going to be actually be explaining about what it's about but I know that you guys really want to probably see it so I will leave like some footage somewhere around the screen and then also I'll probably give my own personal feedback on this so let's get started shall we? <laughs> concrete post I did not know that right so this is the actual full trailer but I didn't really know about what happened to Frederick oh sorry my, my earphones are slightly all over the place uh come here you stop it stop being pesky devils <laughs> and so anyway as I was saying I know that Frederick did han himself but I didn't know what he had himself with because I always assumed it was from a rope, not a concrete post. So that is completely new to me. I definitely think it's really interesting to see that in that point of view. And it is so good that the production company have decided to focus on PTSD especially because I have done it on my main channel before but again I will revise into that in the near future but most of the Titanic survivors suffered from PTSD following the disaster and Frederick was one of them and 
it happened every time someone mentioned the Titanic or the iceberg or if he had faded memories or memories that came back to him of the disaster but you mustn't forget he was only in his mid-twenties when the disaster happened and when he died he was 77 so you can imagine the trauma that he must have had following the 50 or 40 plus years of his life following the disaster. My maths is not really good, but you'll get what I mean. But I'm definitely interested in seeing the movie and I'm also hoping that it will be successful. I don't know, there are a few others who have reacted to this, but if and when the movie comes out, I would highly recommend watching it when it does. And like I said, I will be doing a video on Frederick in the near future, but it will probably happen when the movie comes out because I really want to get into that depth of his story. And I always think that his story is very, very tragic. So I will definitely be doing that in the near future. And with that, I'm going to be drawing this video to a close right here. And if you would like to follow Fred, the movie as well as their Instagram page. The production company who've made the film have their own website so they would give their website about some news updates, the production company, how the story was inspired and it was really interesting to see how they've actually created that page so I will leave a link to that in the description box down below and also the production company has a Kickstarter page so if you want to make a donation to the Kickstarter page again I will leave that link in the description box down below and I would also like to take this opportunity to say thank you to the production company for allowing me to react to the trailer I cannot tell you how really excited I am to watch this and I'm really looking forward to seeing more updates before and after the movie is released and yeah I'll, this is where I'll definitely leave it right here and until then I will see you very very soon if you enjoyed this episode please like and subscribe for future videos until next time this has been history inside a nutshell to passing from the dogs thank you so much for all of your support and enjoy the rest of your voyage